my time has been in, in this uh, little hatch right here. Uh, this is a 89 EF. It is the, the DX, I think that's what it's called. Um, but yeah, it's, I got it like this actually. Somebody had actually already swapped it to an H-Series. Um, the Prelude motor, so it's a H-22. I did read into it. This one in particular is the A4 model, so it has the open deck, which isn't good for boost. So if I do decide to do anything, I'm going to have to resleeve this at a minimum. But for now, it'll be on motor. Uh, what is done to it, I can tell, is the headers. I think those are DC headers, DC sports. I have an MSD box, the coil, the coil and the distributor. I have the MSD box inside. Um, it, it does need body work, a little paint job. The, the fenders, they have a few dents in them, but I was actually planning on changing them out. But everything else seems rather good. I need to fix this. I don't, I don't like that it is this way right now. But so when I got the car, it, it was completely gutted actually. The little backstory I do know on the car was uh, a guy got busted street racing it, and it got impounded. So the title was actually from the police station. But uh, yeah, it got auctioned off, and the car sat from the guy that I got it from. It sat for about two, almost three years. Uh, I just got it probably like two, three months ago, maybe, maybe a little more. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it runs and drives. I just, I just need to work out the kinks, you know. Uh, but yeah, as far as it goes, these are EP3 seats out of a modern, or out of a later Civic, I should say. Um, I did put the carpet back in. Me and my dad, we went ahead and did that. This one is actually mounted. I have to mount the other seat. Uh, but as far as this goes, at a minimum, or I guess next, I was gonna, I was gonna pull the dash out and. All the wiring that's along the firewall, I was going to clean all of it up because it's all uh, spliced. Alright, so basically I went ahead and removed all the screws within the dash. Um, let me see, there, total there's about, there's four for the glove box. I didn't, I didn't record because my camera is overheating and my GoPros are still charging. Um, but total there's about four screws, there's four for the glove box, uh, there's one in the center up top in the middle. There's two on each side on the panel. Um, there's going to be it's a plastic screw, a, a plastic push in, and then uh, and then a regular. Uh, I think it's a ten, um, but a, a bolt. Uh, it's fairly easy for a dash to take out. This is probably one of the simplest ones that, that I've dealt with. Yeah, I mean we could go ahead and uh, I guess pull it. I'm just realizing this column right here, this this uh, molding, I might have to take that off. Man, it's gonna be bad. I hung up somewhere. Okay, I see. It looks like there's one plug on the. Uh, on the fuse box, on this fuse box. Alright, I think we're freed up. There it is, guys. The dash. Holy crap. I'm gonna put this in. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much like the heart, I guess. All the wiring, and this is everything I gotta clean up. At least wanna clean up. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll, uh, I'll try to get a little game plan together, see which way to approach so it. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I have my heat gun, I have uh, an assortment of connectors. I was gonna be using these style connectors in particular. I'll probably be using the smaller ones, but um, it's this clear film is basically like heat shrink, and then this silver insert is basically solder. Um, so yeah, you just heat it up until the solder melts, and there's your connection. So yeah, I was gonna be taking each one of these splices and just do them one by one. You don't want to get out of order with this.
All right, so it's another day. Um, picking back up. I behind the scenes, I did go ahead and make a little progress. Uh, nothing too major. Like, I didn't pick anything up yet, but I just routed some of the cables more uniform. Um, it's not really where I want it to be, but it's a lot better than what it was. I did make these connections. Uh, you can see these others. I did clean a little bit up in the edges. I have to get this side now, but I'm gonna clean all this, uh, this support bar. Um, I'm gonna paint and then uh, I'll pull the carpet up and start molding it to shape. So we got the support out. Um, from here I'm just gonna brush it down like I did the, the other two brackets and shoot it. Uh, this is for the dash. I'm gonna just clean it up and put it back in as is. And all behind the support, this is all gonna get cleaned up. Alright, guys, uh, we're just about wrapped up with this. Um, I was able to get the support in. Now it's a bit dark. I got the wires pretty much cleaned up. Uh, not the best, but better than being in the ground. You know, it's kind of, that's what I was talking about was being able to hook them up on the uh, on these little arms. But got the support in. It's looking good. The carpets ran upwards. I just have to mount the computer, and I think that'll pretty much be all. So. Uh, driver's side seat and passenger seats mounted in um, up until I flocked the dash then uh, I guess that'll be it but uh, this is pretty much it for this this little part one and uh, I'll pick up for part two hope you enjoyed